Patreons, I have a new video regarding Indian black smoke. How to solve black smoke? You will notice the temperature gauge is fluctuating. Do not the problem. This is the easy way how to solve the black smoke. The reason of engine black smoke where I found out was only in the engine coolant temperature sensor you will see the IPC indicator check engine light is lit now I will use my scan tool Look at the BCI, it's on red signal, meaning red light is not, uh, not, communicate, not communicating. If it is green light, it's communicating. When I hook up the scan tool connector, there is no ALDL power. If the ALDL is not power up, I could not read the DTC. So I'm going to check the fuse. The cigarette lighter is the circuit of the ALDL. So the terminal of the fuse was burned out. So I have another option to power up the, the, my scan tool. I will use the auxiliary connector to power up the scan tool. It is included in the box of the uh, scan tool. Now look at the interface. If you plug in the connector, uh, you will hear a beep sounds, means connecting. And uh, also the indicator lights well lit it either green or blue now when it beeps sound it's communicating and the two lights indicator it's blue and green so you got a communication to the pcm and one thing you have to notice that the green check indicator in the scan tool should be green check that is uh, at the lower portion of the scan tool then you have to select the automatic and read the BIN once the BIN you have to check it on the vehicle if it is the correct BIN then select the power train then you have to know the trouble codes the trouble codes will appear once you select the DTC okay here we are we got a P115 meaning that is engine coolant temperature sensor that is the problem why I am getting a black smoke meaning I, I saw it in the parameters that was a negative 40 negative 40 it creates uh, engine black smoke. Why? It will inject more fuel. Then to make it sure that uh, the ECT is uh, not working, you have to go to the active test to uh, check the IPC gauge and the lamp test. This is the best way without uh, removing the instrument panel cluster gauge or instrument panel cluster assembly this is the an, an, an example of how to use the active test on your scan tool just follow what it's written in the scan tool and uh, also the commanded state and the on off to activate and deactivate the sensor You must know the specified value of each sensor. 
if the sensor is uh, operative or inoperative. Suppose you are going to check the lights, the indicator lights of the ABS airbag, all uh, in IPC indicator lights. Now, here we are. We have to select the lamp test. Okay. Then after that, go to the uh, uh, read the commanded state. Now it's none. You have to press the on up for active and the active act and the activated. If this you press the on, just look at the IPC. All indicator lights are on. In the commanded state, it will show the procedure in progress. Now it's on and look at the IPC. All the IPC indicator lights are on. This is the best way to check the IPC indicator lights without dismantling IPC cluster. Now we proceed to the next step, the IPC gauge. IPC gauge, you have to monitor all the gauges. Now proceed to the IPC gauge. You will notice there the IPC gauge activated and deactivated. This is the very quick diagnosis if the gauges are uh, inoperative or operative. I hope you learned something from me without dismantling instrument panel cluster to diagnose the gauges and the uh, lamp. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a nice day. Thank you.